Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride down a one-horse open sleigh. Indeed. Looking at the bright faces in the audience, it seems that this journey has brought joy and laughter to all our hearts at the end. Well, it is our great wish that this bright joy and spirit may be with you all in this year ahead of us, guiding you in every challenge, facing it with a smiling face. It is said that every good thing should come to an end. Before concluding the day's program, it is our duty to thank each and everyone who contributed immensely to make this event a great success. May I now invite Ms. Michelle Latukorala, Secretary of Catholic Student Society of University of Moratua, to propose the vote of thanks. Dear Reverend Father Saman Maximus, our chaplain, Reverend Father Gamunu, dear Reverend Sisters, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and my dear friends, as I stand before you, my heart is filled with joy and contentment for the benevolence of our loving and eternal Father in heaven shown to us in every step we take to glorify his mighty name. The joy of Christmas is never meant to be contained, but to be shared, and therefore, it is my fervent duty to express my humble sentiments of gratitude to all who shared their cheerful commitment with us to add grandeur to this event. First and prime most, I stand in joyful admiration of the love of our God for the immensity of love with which he loved us in every step taken in the event of the organization of this great task. Christmas is a joyful season. Each year, we await Christmas to dawn simply because of the fact that we need to share the joy of the birth of Jesus with everyone whom we meet. That is exactly what we have completed doing right now. On this gracious occasion, as we await in joyful hope the coming of our Savior, we have shared the joy of this meaningful season in music and song. Therefore, it is our utmost and bounded duty to thank God, our loving Father, for giving us this opportunity, despite all the obstacles, to be one with each other in this holy event. We thank Father Saman Maximus, our chaplain, for bringing us to the awareness of the importance of sharing the joy of Christmas and guiding us in our steps to organize this event in this magnitude. Thank you, dear Reverend Father, for your fatherly care that is shown to us. We are very thankful to you, Reverend Father Gamunu, and all the Reverend Sisters for your valuable presence. We thank our Vice Chancellor, Professor Ananda Jayavardhana, Deans of the three faculties, and Chief Student Counselor, Dr. Jagat Premachandra, for providing us with all the necessary logistical requirements. We also remember with gratitude the services rendered by architect Sagara Jai Singha, our staff advisor and the senior treasurer of the society. Thank you, sir, for feeling one with us in all our endeavors. We thank, thank you, dear past members, for gracing this occasion with your valuable presence and also for the financial assistance given to us to meet up with the expenses for this event. We thank all the lecturers who are here with us today. We also remember with gratitude all other sponsors who contributed financially for this meaningful venture. We remember with gratitude the Senior Assistant Registrar Examination, CIT Studio, Maintenance Department, Undergraduate Division, and members of the clerical and non-clerical staffs for the readily services given, particularly the support given as regards the logistical requirements. We say cheers to all the students representing Sri Lanka University Catholic Students Movement and other universities for taking time out to feel one with us today. Thank you very much from the bottom of our hearts, my dear friends of the Catholic Students Movement, University of Moratua. You are a pillar of strength and stronghold that can never be shaken. 
Every step you take is a mighty leap forward. Every word you speak is a stepping stone for the cheerful acceptance of all challenges. Thank you very much, dear friends. Our bonds are lifetime and can never be loosened till death do us part. It is as passionate as it can be to see our non-Catholic friends sharing their talents to prove our unity in diversity. We sincerely thank all our non-Catholic brothers and sisters who sustained enough good memories for this event with their proven talent in music and all others who had no stone unturned to make the venue look awesome and majestic to give fitting reverence to the baby Jesus. Last but not least, I am commissioned to remember and thank with much gratitude the brotherhood and love that was shared with us by all of you dear friends with your precious presence to be with us as we share the joy of Christmas. Thank you one and all once again. May God bless you.